And I will never set off for land. Come on, cause I know there is more that's found in you. One more time, tell it down, tell the Lord, I will. And I will never make it so personal. There is more in God. I know there is more that's found in you. Listen to me. One day I was in senior five. And Pastor Bugembe came to our school to minister. And these are the words he said. When the Lord called him to, to start a ministry, when the Lord called him into ministry, he spoke these words to the Lord. Lord, there is nothing else I can do that the fathers in the land have not done. And these were the words that the Lord told him. I have called you for a particular purpose. And no one has done what I've called you to do. So no matter what you have seen going ahead of you, in ministry, in business, in, in academics, in every mountain of influence, in entertainment. What God has called you to do, no one else has done it. So when you are seeking God, seeking, no, seek God knowing that only you can do what God has called you to do. Now look at Pastor Bugembe. Everything he does is different. Why? Because God called him for that. Even you, there is a flame of fire upon your life. There is a grace of God upon your life. There is a amount of God upon your life. And there is a calling of God upon your life. Amen. So I want you to walk out of this place knowing. Do not settle for anything. Do not settle for less. You have a, you have a mantle, you have a calling, and you have a destiny. Amen. When I look at that young man called Hammond that is running away from here. No one ever knew that God can call a young man like that boy and he begins something called tent worship. And now it is rocking the entire nation. An idea from God that falls in the man that God has called you is going to place you before kings and princesses. Amen. So lift up your hands and tell God, give me an idea from above. Give me the grace, oh God, that I can be able to do what you've called me to do. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord, Lord, I, I, am, I am not settling for anything. I am living my life for you. I am walking this journey for you. I will not give up on anything. Father, I will live for you. All the days of my life, my family will see me. And wonder whether we are siblings. Oh, my God. Let me tell you, whatever I am doing, and every nation I'm, I've gone to and I'm going to, not anyone in my family has ever been to, ever done what I'm doing. They look at me and wonder whether we are siblings or we have born of the same parents. Because I am different. You are different. You are different. Go out of this place knowing this world is waiting for you. The nations of the world are waiting for you. Communities are waiting for you. Homes are waiting for you. Cities are waiting for you. The generation is waiting for you. God manifest the glory of God. Amen. God manifest the grace of God that is upon your life. Amen. Do you know in the days of Saul before he became Paul, no one knew that this man called Anania was called in the healing ministry. Like you are here today. And no one knows the giftings God has placed upon your life. But as you continue, as you continue in being diligent, as you continue in seeking the face of God, one day, what is on you will be unveiled. Amen. What is on you, the world will see. Amen. What is on you, your family will see. What is on you, oh my God. We didn't just call here to dance and go back home. No, the Lord told me to call you here. That I can remind you that you are in the days of preparation. And he told me, tell a young man that is here. And you're about, you about to give up. Thinking it is not possible. I'm here to tell you, it is possible. You are still young to give up now. This nation. The seven mountains of influence. They haven't seen what you carry. They haven't yet seen what is on your life. 
this world. Forget about the man of God you're seeing in the city. Those have come ahead of you because God wants you to look at them as examples. But what God has called you to do, they cannot do. It is on you. It has been on you for generations. Some of you, what is on you has been with your father, has been on your spiritual fathers. Now it is time for you to start up that gift. Start up the gift of God upon your life. If you've been called into the healing ministry, go to the hospitals, lay hands on the sick, find some lampers on the street, and tell them, I command you by the authority given to me in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. Go back to your mother and tell them, My mother, look at me. I may be your child, but you do not know me. What I carry is different. So I command you right now, become rich in the name of Jesus. Hello, tell your neighbor, I carry something. Do like this, I carry something. I carry something. I carry something. There is something about me. Oh my God. That is why we are singing that song that I will not settle for it. Why? Because there is something God has in stock for me. No one knew. No one knew in this world that there will be a sin at one day. No one knew in this world that there will be a John Mark when Isaiah Katuma was in the nation. But see what God is doing in this young man's life. What you carry has not yet been unveiled. But you need to stay faithful. If, let me tell you young people that are here, we are a generation that seeks God. We are a generation that fasts. We are a generation that prays. We are a generation that looks after holiness and purity. We are a generation of the world. Let me tell you, we will force you by force. I will force you by force. Force you by force. You will need to look at me and seek the Lord. You need to look at me and go into fasting. You need to look at me and say, Where is my God? If your God can be manifested, I can manifest my God. Look at your neighbor. Have you ever manifested your God? Mumbo is have you ever manifested your God? Mumbo is are, are your siblings proud of you? Are you a role model to somebody? Tell anybody, I am my number one role model. <laughs> I believe in myself. I believe in what God has called me to do. So this nation, tell anybody, Uganda, Uganda, hear me now. I am coming. Oh! This is your time. This is your time. And I am what you've been waiting for. And I'm what you've been waiting for. Wait for me. I am coming. I am coming. Come at I'm looking. I am coming. 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 Yeah. Now I want you to look at somebody that knows you very well. Tell them I know you know me. An outside impression. The days that are coming ahead of me, I am going into hiding. You will see me and not understand me. Not because I am proud, but within the call of God upon my life, there are certain things I will not do normally. Tell your neighbor, I am not this day. Purposes. I surrender to the call of God. I surrender to the mandate of my generation. I surrender, oh God. Use me, oh God. Let me not die until I see you. Let me not die until I see your glory. May my generation see you. May my family see you. May my siblings see you. May my church see you. May my 
trust and see you. Lord God Almighty, give me and your name. of an anointing upon us. Shut up, I'm oh. 